Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files. Tonight is not gonna be that frightful. Tonight we are playing City Boss Manager. As I am a bus driver in real life, this game is right up my alley, I suppose. So what we are going to do, we could do a free play, but I haven't played this game before. So we are going to do scenarios and first steps towards a bus empire. Hell yeah, man. And we are gonna be right night. Uh, I don't know, just right night. Yeah, why not? Let's write my postal code. It's in Denmark. Weile. So we can. You can use any city in the world in this game. I believe you can use any city. So that's pretty awesome. If you're gonna play this game, you can create a boss empire in your own goddamn city. How awesome is that? So now I have to get my bearing. <laughs> where the F? So I will put this where our own garage is in real life. Our bus depot. If I can find it. Uh, I think it's here. <laughs> no, Paco's good, no. Here it is. On this street. And our bus depot. Which one's our bus depot? I think it's here, but... It, yeah, it is right here. But it's not on this map. Uh, the depot must be connected to our road, so do we have to... Can I put it here? Yeah. Let's put it here. So that's where our depot is in real life. Welcome to the fascinating world of city bus management. As a newly appointed transport planner in Weile, you have the unique opportunity to create an efficient and reliable bus network from scratch. It's up to you to plan the best routes, set strategic stops, and make sure your buses run on time and reliably. <laughs> yeah, our buses, we have bought some, some Chinese buses, some uh, electric buses, and they are everything but reliable. <laughs> so, hopefully we can do better, you know. You'll quickly realize that every decision has an impact on your success, from the choice of vehicles to scheduling and customer service. Your strategy and your ability to respond to the needs of citizens will be crucial. Are you ready to lead Wilde to a new era of public transport and provide citizens with stress-free mobility? Then get started and begin your adventure in City Bus Manager. Hell yeah, don't mind if I do. But this is really not how it looks like. Uh, uh, this is a little too close to this road. I didn't choose to be there. Right? I should be on the other side of this road. Ah, never mind. Okay, let's see what we have to do. Build a break room. Build a break room, minimum size 5x5. Five, five five. The break room must be accessible via at least one door. Provide at least one seat, armchair or chair. And rotate objects with R before placing them. It looks like we already have a break room. Is this not our depot? I guess so. Isn't this the break room? Yes? No? Maybe? And how do we do that? The tutorial is not very great here, I think. Break room. How do we build the walls for it? Or... I don't know. But to me, this looks like a break room. We already have one, man. 
Okay, let's do it five by five. Here. Must be accessible by a door. We can have a tinted door. Oh, there's something on the other side here. We have a tinted door. Or some kind of other door. <laughs> Let's just do this one. Because I don't know. Why not? Why at least one seat? Will do. Let's have an armchair. Let's put it, I don't know, here. Guess that's as good a place as any. We want more in here, right? Wall clock, yeah, why not? It's always important to know what time it is when you're a bus driver. <clears throat> you can have a wall, shelf, yeah, because why not? Read a book while on break. In real life, we don't have time to, <laughs> to watch TV or anything, but hey-ho. Is this turned the right way? It is. Now we need... A sofa or something. We don't have a couch? Yes? No? Maybe? Not at all? Not even close. A trash can? Yep. And what else do we need? A vending machine would be awesome. So, a plant here and there. If we can't have a sofa, we'll just need a more chairs. So one guy can sit here and watch TV. Ah, they can watch from here as well, right? Uh, is there anything else we want in here? I think this is fine for now. We can always expand, I guess. So now, build a kitchen. Okay. Build a kitchen then. Must be at least 4x4. Four four. Uh, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Here you are. We'll just place it here. We'll do 5x4. Because, I don't know, why not? Let's have a door into here. I think we'll have to, to move that painting doesn't matter place at least one fridge in the kitchen will do we have a fridge here oh no let's just place it there because why not and another plant yeah the other trash can we do there we go is there anything else we want here Counters. You have a microwave oven or something? No? Nope. Okay. You have a couch table, but no couches. Or at least I didn't see a couch anywhere. So, okay, so that's the kitchen, <laughs> I suppose. Build at least one more piece of road. Place two bus spaces on your premises. A bus must be connected to the street. Okay. Uh, build at least one more piece of road. Street. Uh, okay. Build street. Yeah. I'll place it here, okay. And now... Place two bus and print them. So now we are... To buy some buses. Bus fleet. E-buses are now available. Marked with the lightning symbol in the marketplace. There are also a lot of new features available. Build charging stations at parking spaces or equip bus stops with char with charging stations to charge your buses. Choose a suitable electricity tariff in your contracts or build your own photovoltaic panels and roofs 
to produce electricity. Pay attention to your CO2 balance in order to receive an environmental bonus. All right. By used buses, I think. And of course we want electric buses, not the kind that we have. Uh, these are the same, yeah? E-Way 9.5. They don't run very far, yeah? Now range 2 for the... It's about the same that we have, I think, maybe. So this one's in good shape. Then why is this one more expensive? Huh? I don't know. This is another color as well. I think we're going to buy these two. Cleanliness, tires, brake pads, air conditioner is not working, router is not working. I guess we can upgrade it, yeah? Are these minibuses? No. 55 passengers. Uh, solo buses. Ah, I can... I can offer less. They accept it. Woohoo! Let's buy this other one as well. Because it has the same color. Alrighty then. Now how do we place them? My bosses. Um. Oh, no, not mini bosses. Solo bosses, please. We are figuring things out. We should repair them, right? There's no free lifting platform. No, okay. Can I clean it? You can clean it on the inside. <laughs> uh, okay. So how do we place it here? Uh, okay, so these are just roads, not parking spaces, I think. Bus parking space, here we are. Uh, no, let's not do that. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. I can't place one more there. Why not? Uh, hmm. Why can't I build more parking spaces here? Oh, that was not the same size. Now we can. We can always move these, I think. So now we have these buses here. Can we clean this as well? The inside? No? But we want them to be the same color that we use in real life. I guess I can't paint for some reason. Okay. Okay, place six lockers in the corridor. But also, we need some more here. We need charging stations, right? Bus charger. One there, one there. Awesome. What if is this? Oh, this is if we want to to make our own, uh, produce our own electricity. Should have done that, yeah, instead. Should we do that? Let's spend some money, because we have, we have loads of money, it looks like. I guess we need road for this. I think I made dumb dumb, you know? Okay, we can... Uh, and we should have the parking spaces this way, right? 
Can I still do that? Not large ones. Are the small ones, are they big enough for these buses? I don't know. Let me assign him to here. I think we can. Drive over there, please. Can I move these? No? Why aren't you going over here? I don't know. Okay, let's continue for now. Place six lockers in the corridor or in the hall. I hear movement. Why are they oozing? These are electric buses. <laughs> okay, can see how much power they have. Uh, power enough to move over here. Where they're supposed to be. Okay, let's play some lockers. Um, corridor, maybe. Locker. You could play some here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. No, I will not be reachable there. Six. Hire two bus drivers. Where does one do that? Staff. Bus drivers. Friendliness is extremely important. This guy, Isaac Petit, can we underbid him a little bit? Let's put it to uh, eight. Yay! This guy has no skill, but he's very friendly. Let's hire him. Maybe they will. It's Matthias Krieger. Maybe they will they will level up their skills, hopefully. Oh, hire a mechanic. Friendliness, I don't think is that important here. Let's do this guy, Jan Christiansen. Ah, his friendliness is going down <laughs> when we underbid him. That's all right. Hire a researcher. The most skillful, skillful, please. There we go. Hire a cleaner. Again, skill important. Hire service employee. What do they do? I don't know. But again, we take the most skillful one. This one's also good because it's also friendly. I don't know if those friendliness, maybe that... That is like for... Uh, you know, how they get along with... With their co-workers. Possibly. Now, place a bus wash. Alrighty then. Let's do a bus wash. Then. Bathroom? Nah, I don't think so. Service center. Oh, we had the bus wash here somewhere, right? Large or just a normal one? That's probably fine, right? Let's put it here. So why not? Place a lifting platform. Standard. A lifting platform must be connected to the street. With the workshop, you can repair and maintain the buses as needed. Note that you must always have the appropriate replacement parts in stock. Okay. Uh, was that here as well? 
Lifting platform. Standard. I guess this is the standard one. Hey, now the bus is moving to its... Where it's supposed to go. But couldn't we move these? Why can't we move this stuff? So we need charging stations here, you know? We'll do this one. And a charger, of course. Same for this guy. I don't know if we are spending too much money. We probably are. <laughs> Okay, build a warehouse. Warehouse must be accessible by at least one door. Place a package shelf in the warehouse. Okay. Build a warehouse. Here we go. Guess we can build it here. Uh, maybe, maybe up here. Oh, damn it. Can I... Yeah, I can. Um, no, not the other. Street. A warehouse, sorry. Here we go. Guess we could build it here. Right? Let's do 5x4. Because I don't know, why not? I need a door. Let's place it, I don't know, here. And some package shelf. Build two. Oh, it's not reachable. Why not? Why can't I move stuff? How do I move stuff? Ah, here maybe. So why is this not reachable? Are they reachable now? I guess so. So we could move. Or maybe even sell. Are we selling this now? Or are we just destroying it? I'm not sure. Did we get any money back? Did we destroy the boss as well? Now here it is. Alrighty then. Open the map. Click on the map in the upper right corner and plan your first bus route. It's best to start with a central bus route with 10 to 15 bus stops. Alrighty then. Is that here? Bus route. Statistics. Bus stops. Buses. New route. Uh, create a bus route according to your own ideas. The more passengers use your route, the more money you you earn through ticket revenue. Or public service line. Create a bus route with specific requirements for a client. The revenue from ticket sales will go entirely to the client. You receive a lump sum payment per completed tour. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to do that? Now let's do our own bus route. Building a line. Plan your line wisely to reach as many passengers as possible. Passenger numbers depend on several factors. Points of interest. Linking to POIs leads to higher ridership. Passengers number vary for each type depending on the, on the day of the week and the time of day. Buildings. The more buildings are connected, the more passengers use the line. Connections. By connecting to existing lines, passengers transfer between lines. They walk up to 250 meters between stops. <clears throat> so I don't know if I want to... They want to make the routes that we have as of now in, in, in real life. I think maybe. 
So this here is our our traffic center. These are where we yeah, where the different buses go and we park over here. So we'll make first bus stop here. Which line do I want to to do first? We will do the most central one that we have. So this one should not be there. Edit. Uh, can I just move it please? No? Then just delete it. Because we are going to do our route number 6. It's a short route but it's very central. And our route number 6 go from this third one because it has to be able to to turn around and go this way you can't do that from lane 7 and 6 so we'll do it from here and then it goes down here let me get the bearing here am I turned the right way Uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> we usually go, yeah, down to here, but our first bus stop is go. Yeah, then we go down this way. actually exactly there where where this is ah so they know where our bus stops are in real life here okay no you're not going that way around can I edit that that's not the route that you're going but damn it we call this route 6 because that's what this is. Place waypoint maybe. If I hold shift I can do... Okay. So can I tell him to... Oh no. You know what? I think we'll remove this one. Yes, there we go. Now we can do it like we want to. And you're going this way. And this way. And I'll put a bus stop here. After that, you. That's not the correct route, so delete this one. And place a waypoint here, then we are turning left here, hopefully. Yep. Here we go. And we have a bus stop here. And here. Now that's on the way back, sorry. Let's remove that one. Delete. Here. So here we are turning around and going back this way and here. This is awesome. We're making the route that we have in real life. Woohoo! Then we're going down here and then we are going this way. And this way. Just continue, continue. Here. We have a bus stop here. Then we drive up here. And go this way. Then we have a bus stop. Okay, that bus stop is not here. That we have in real life. It's 
just by the police station, which is here. So we put a bus stop here. And then we go this way. All the way back here. And then we go here. And then we are going back. Uh, yeah, this way. And all the way. Is that the last bus stop on our route? No, we have one over here. So we put a bus stop here. And from there, we just go back to here. Then I think we'll yeah, just do waypoints all the way. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Oh yeah, of course, we are going that way. That's, that's correct. And we go back this way. To here. And then we go here. Uh, why are going all that? What? Ah, yeah, sorry. Move this one. Because we are going on this road. Then we can go here. And then we end up back here. Ta-da! There's our first route, route number six. Timetable, your buses run on your line according to an adjustable timetable. The higher the frequency, the more buses run on the line. There are two ways to set the timetable. Simple mode, you can simply set the trip interval and directly see a forecast of the expected passenger numbers and the number of buses required. Advanced mode, you can customize the timetable down to the smallest detail. Easy to replicate real timetables. Hmm. Okay. We start at around 6 o'clock. It drives until about 11. Goes every 30 minutes, there or thereabouts. Buses need for the current timetable, at least one. So maybe we can. Let's do every 20 minutes. This route is going to, uh, yeah, to, uh, you know, some coll colleges and stuff like that. Bus routes creates to which depot should this route be assigned? We only have one, so. Activate. Okay, we are actually paused right now. If you want to finish the day? If you want, you can skip the time until the next shift starts. Yeah, why not? Uh, assign shift. Have to assign a bus here, or? There is no operational bus available that has enough range for this shift. What? Uh, let's pause this. Why can't I do that? Okay. Can we have 
have them. Uh, do something that we don't have in real life. Could we put some um, charging stations here? Thought I saw that somewhere, right? No? Hmm. Didn't I see that somewhere? Upgrade bus stops. Uh, okay. There's no operational bus available that has enough range for this shift. But can't we put both buses on that line? Wouldn't that work? Bus routes. Insert addi additional bus. How do we insert it? Did I do it? No? How the F does this work? Insert additional bus. Then how do I insert it? Hmm. And it's not yet assigned to another ship. Purchase another bus if required. They really won't cancel the shift. This could have a negative impact on satisfaction of passengers. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you really need three buses only for that one. Can we edit this one so we only so we only drive every thirty minutes? Can I do that, please? Why can't we do that? Ah, edit timetable. Every 30 minutes. Would that work? Then? Yeah. How do we assign it? I press assign. Oh, there's no... St Come on. Okay, I guess we need to... Buy more buses then. That sucks. Oh, I had one here. Okay. Fleet. I use buses. Oh no. Let's buy some new one then. So why are they called mini buses? You know? Is this a mini bus? Fifty-five passengers. Sixteen seats. Okay, if you say so. So I guess they should be on mini buses then. Okay. Let's buy two. That's fine. Did we buy them? Are they coming? Here they are. And now we can assign. Select a bus on the premises on which the shift should be carried out. Let's put Isaac Petit. I suppose. Select a bus on premise on which the shift should be carried out. 
Or we could take one of the new bosses. Okay. Why couldn't we use these? These are also full of batteries. Look at him go! Yay! And maybe now we can... At the timetable, every 30 minutes. Is that possible now? Sign boss, yeah. Current utilization. Ah, these are not operational for some reason. Go fix them, dude. Why don't they fix them then? Should be classified as mini bosses, maybe. Can you please? Ah, of course, yeah, we have to repair them. Repair everything. So, there are not enough replacement parts available. You can order them at the replacement parts store. Ah, uh, okay. There's a lot to this game, yeah? Placement parts. What did we need? Tires, brake pads, wipers. We can just buy a little bit of everything, I guess. We have money. Okay, maybe not engines. Indicators. Some wipers, it's not that expensive, so air conditioner, batteries, no, not yet, V belts, oil canister. I don't know if you have a space enough for all this. <laughs> Deliver immediately, please. No, we can wait because these buses aren't driving right now. So, can we see where our buses are? We can. Hey. Look at us go! Driving all people, there's a college here. Also, there's some colleges here for nurses and stuff like that. So I think, th think that will do it for episode number one. If you like to see more, please leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.